Hello, this is me, Sam here from Whooper Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Forge 1.8 server. So, if you've followed my previous tutorial on how to install the Forge 1.8 client on a Linux distribution, then you should already have the Forge installer. If you don't, head to files.minecraftforge.net and download the relevant version that you require. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using 1.8, and then the installer downloaded the recommended version. So once you've downloaded that jar file, which I've got here, uh, forge 1.8 installer.jar, we're going to open up the terminal, and we type in java hyphen jar forge, and then I'm using tab to complete the rest. Hit enter, and that will load up the, the mod system installer. So in the previous tutorial, we did install client. Now we want to install server. So you'll have this error come up that says there are already files at the target directory. This is because this is where our client is installed. And we don't want that to be the case. We want to install the server in a different location. So what we can do is hit these triple dots here. And for this tutorial, I'm going to put it on the desktop. But you can place it anywhere you like. Let's put it on desktop and create a new folder. We'll call it Forge Server. And we'll hit OK. And then hit OK again. And this will begin installing Forge. Uh, the server inside this directory. So first of all, it will download the, the vanilla Minecraft 1.8 server, and then it will download the necessary libraries and their Forge API, and it will just configure it all together, ready for you to uh, use it. So that will just take a couple of seconds, it's almost done, and once it's done, you should see successfully downloaded Minecraft server, 16 libraries, and installed Forge. Great. So let's close that down and see what it's downloaded. So we open up the Forge directory, we can see here libraries, which are all the required libraries Forge needs, the Minecraft Server 1.8, which is the vanilla version, and the Forge 1.8 Universal. So we're going to open up another terminal here, and to run the server we're going to type in java hyphen jar forge, and then using the tab to fill out the rest, and then we're going to hit enter. Now the first time it loads, it will create a U e EU LA uh, text file, and in this text file we're just going to have to, yeah, well, read the terms and conditions, and if we want to enable the server to run, we have to accept these. So you can see this EULA text file, we have to set this to true, close that, and then we're going to control C to kill that instance, and then run it again and now it will actually start the server up. So, as with Bucket and, you know, normal vanilla Minecraft server, it takes a while to start for the very first time as it's generating the world um, and the required directories and the folders it needs. But whilst that's loading up, let's, uh, let's explain what it's created in this server directory. So first we have the config. This is the Forge config, very similar to the client config. Um, you can modify that if you want to modify anything in regards with Forge. We have the required libraries, um, this is just what Forge um, and the bucket uh, Minecraft server uses. We won't have to change that. Logs, this is where all the logs are for starting up and if you have any errors, these will be located here. So if you have any problems, it's probably best to look in here first. Mods, this again it should be parallel with your client mod directory. Uh, this is where we install our mods that we want to run on the server. And world, this is the world we have, the save file, which is uh, just generated here. You see, preparing spawn. This is the same as our um, vanilla world as it would be. And then we just have all these JSON files, which are basically uh, sort of small databases for holding player data and op data and whatnot. So I'm going to load up Forge client now, and I'm going to connect to the server. So I've loaded up the Minecraft uh, 1.8 Forge serve, uh, client here. And I'm going to click multiplayer and click direct connect and I put in localhost or alternatively you could do 127.0.0.1. Click join server and that will log me on to the server. And we can hopefully see here in the console log there are UID of player sound queries, whatnot, and I connected to the game. And so here we are. Oh, there's some, some blue wall here. We've connected to the game and we can do whatever we like on the server. So this is for local. 
If we want to enable our friends on the internet to play it, we will require uh, to open the ports on our router. You can find many tutorials on how to open your ports for Minecraft uh, on the internet. So I won't cover this in this tutorial. And then you will have to provide your external internet IP. And that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, in the future tutorials, we will be covering things on how to install mods, or how to install mods on Windows, how to set up Forge on Windows, and many, many more. So that concludes today's tutorial. Thank you. This has been me, Sam People with Gaming, signing out.